Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the farm. It is our first, I guess, second, maybe third, I don't know, day of fall back. And we are out here. I guess the good thing about falling back is it's brighter in the morning. And the pigs are probably wondering why it took us so long to get out here and get them breakfast. But put down in the comments, do you like falling back? Do you like springing forward? Either way, doesn't matter. You got to deal with it. So anyway, pigs are getting a late breakfast. I kind of went out of order because I had to feed the chickens and get all their automatic feeders filled this morning. So I wanted to get those bags off the cart, but we are out here. The pigs have eaten the mamas over at the farrowing, farrowing. We keep getting comments that we keep saying it wrong, but potato, potato, right? We'll call it the pig nursery. The mamas at the pig nursery are giving us the side eye, wondering why they haven't been fed yet. So let's get over there and feed those pigs. All right, well, I try to bring you along on feeding, but it gets pretty bumpy. We'll see what we can do here. Peaches is not happy that she had to wait. We've been giving our mamas extra feed now that they've got all these babies. Here, pick, 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 pigs. Come on, piggies. We've also been putting some down for the babies. They start picking at mama's feed about one to two weeks old when they come out here. And so... We always put some down for the babies now so they're not getting tossed out of mama's bowl because she will give them a little fling if they are in the way here. So let's get these little ones some feed here. Come on, pig, pig, pig. Come on, pig, pig, pigs. Here they come. You guys finally waking up? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You waiting, Chloe? Come on. Here I come. Here you little porkies. There you go. Oh, Chloe, you gonna trade them out? You gonna eat off the ground for them? So anyway, I'm sure they're happy now. Piglets are doing great. Mamas are doing great. We do need to get in here and clean these pens out, but we just got a bunch of rain. And so that is the worst time to clean anything when everything is all wet. So we're supposed to have some unusually warm temperatures coming up this week. We're going to be in the 70s or high 60s until the end of the week. And then Saturday we drop down into the 40s, which sounds awful. But I'm going to clean these pens up once this poop dries up there's no point in trying to get wet poop raked out of here it's kind of gross so we'll get that cleaned up but we are still moving animals guys it doesn't stop when the winter comes we like to get them moved keep them on fresh ground even if the grass isn't growing we still like to keep them moving they fertilize our ground and spread their manure out as we move along instead of keeping them on the same spots. So I'm gonna go in and get breakfast, do some schooling with the kids. We're gonna come out and move, not these little ones, but we're gonna move those pigs over there by the old garden. We'll get them moved today. Get them to a new spot. We got a little treat for them to help them get moved across. Not that they need it, because they like to move no matter what. So we'll be back in just a little bit and get some pigs moved. with school just before lunch here beautiful now it's almost 70 um, we are gonna move these girls and I believe one guy one boy but it is beautiful so we'll keep the shade cloth since it is gonna be warm you can see they've turned up the soil a little bit and we don't want them to mess up 
the backyard um, as it rains it gets a little a little worse with the turning of soil don't think we're gonna have any more rain this week I can tell you've been digging what you been doing <laughs> so we're gonna get them moved I'm gonna set up these fences up to our fireplace and up behind our house there and then we're gonna get these pigs moved and we got a special treat these pigs have never had we'll show you that in just a minute All right, we've got them moved over. And uh, even though there's not a whole lot of grass, they are digging around and finding what they want. I guess this is kind of the issue when you have, we have 12 in here, 12 pigs in one spot. We got to move them a little more often than we would some of the other groups, but that is, that's fine. We don't mind. We've made it easy enough that it is not that hard to move these pens. So I did still put up their shade cloth and they are just enjoying this. I do have them that treat I was talking about. I'm gonna get that here in just a second, although they have enough treat. It looks, man, it is hot. I almost wanna break out the shorts, but I'm not gonna scare you with the pasty white legs. But here's the treat they haven't had. You've seen us do this before. We've got a bunch of extra eggs that we didn't use. We hard boil them and uh, feed them to the animals. These guys have never had these before. So I'm gonna break these up a little bit. Put some out here for them. Give them a little extra protein. All you guys that, oh, you can preserve those. And well, we've got a bunch of chickens because we wanted to supplement our feed with some eggs when we have them. So this is the first time these piggers have gotten some eggs. And we do hard boil them. You don't have to hard boil them. They're just not as messy when you do hard boil them. So that's why we hard boil them before we give them to the pigs. And uh, shell and all, they go right to town. So looks like they approve. I do wanna give some of these to the mamas and the babies. So this area is set up for the day. I do have the fence on. We just have the water there. We ran the hose here so I can fill waters up there without having to bucket everything. We've got 400 foot fences. We get to enjoy them. Looking out our back window. Love having the pigs this close where we can watch them as well. So they're happy, excited to be on a new place, piece of ground. No poop, we'll probably move them in a week again. Um, it is supposed to rain a lot next week so we may not keep them this close to the house for that long. Cause like I said, when it rains, they do tend to turn that soil up and we don't want to ruin it right behind our house, but we're getting to the point where we don't care too much. So anyway, let's take some of these over to the new baby piglets and mamas. They can use some protein and uh, let's see if the babies like to enjoy these eggs as well. Yeah, it looks like everybody's inside. Let's see if we can call them out here. Hey, yeah, pig, 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 pigs. Come on, pigs. Come here, piggies. Oh, I see mama was nursing in there. Come on, pigs. We'll get some of these broke up. Here comes Pepper. Now these older mamas have had these before. I just want to see what their piglets are going to do. Come on, pigs. Come on, Peach. Got a little treat for you today. Here's all the piggers. I'll break them up a little bit more for the piggies, but mama's doing a good job of that. Let's get these ones. Here's Pepper. Come on, pigs. You want some too, Pep? You don't need them in your bowl. Hey, piggers. There we go. You gonna eat out of the bowl? Ew, you drooled all over me. There you go. You guys wanna try something new? Kind of following mom. I'll break one up a little more here. The little guys over there going to town. I'm sorry, Chloe. I know you're waiting on us. You're just the farthest one over. I'm sure these big fat hogs will 
be all about these eggs. Let me get to a good spot. I'm not getting mauled. Here we go. Do you want to try some eggs? You going in the bucket too? Well, I guess that's a win. Let me get you some out here, honey. What do you guys think? That's a weird looking piece of food, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh well, yeah, go ahead and relieve yourselves first. And try these eggs out. There you go, there's a good broken one. Like I said last video, we are keeping this little white one. Trying to come up with a name for her. Which as they grow, they get their own personalities and it's easy to figure out a name. But we'll sniff around and figure out what that is. Obviously, they learn a lot from Mama and uh, see what she's doing. But just another little treat for the pigs today. Pepper's going to town on them. Some of the little babies are trying them out. And these ones, Mama's got them all squished up for them already. So they're going to town on those. So anyway beautiful day guys i hope you guys are having good weather where you're at and getting out and enjoying it because it's not going to last forever so head outside enjoy this weather if you haven't already check us out on instagram and facebook and don't forget to make the change